Hey guys, I'm now in the beautiful island of Uludo. It's also known as Jeju's cousin, secret cousin, where no one goes to. I've just landed to figure out how to get here, get check out this video. And now, I'm gonna go explore. I'm not so sure what I'm gonna do today, but you'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> There are lots of ways you can get around the island. So the first is like you can shuttle a car, you can take a taxi, but for me, I'm gonna take the public transport. Wow, the bus driver was very friendly. So if you ever think of walking from the town up, don't because it is crazy steep. And so you alight at the bus station and you still has to walk up to the Waterfall, 1.1 km. So you have to pay a 2000 won entrance fee to the waterfall. Let's go. I greeted the aunties and told them I'm Singaporean. And then they were so excited and started talking. And they gave me a chocolate. Yay! <laughs> People here are really friendly. Like the bus driver also. He even introduced himself. I've forgotten his name. <laughs> I think it's James. He gave himself an English name. And his English was quite good. So about this one, I'm just like smiling and nodding <laughs> as they go on. It makes the trip so much better. Oh man, it spans up. I was hoping to dip my leg inside. I just got here and I'm beginning to really like this place. So one good thing that really stands out is that there's actually very little tourists around here. So that you actually get the whole place to yourself. After the Bore waterfall, I am now going to Hangnam Coastal Walk. It's another beautiful place with like wonderful scenery and I'm so happy here. <laughs> so let's go there then. is to the lighthouse and for me we are going to the Hanam coastal walk so we go through this door Where else can you find such empty and beautiful landscape where there is not a single tourist in sight? This one thing really makes me enjoy my time in Ulundo. And it's just me and whatever we have here. Oh no, the bridge is closed. Looks like I need to go one round then. I really want to go to the tower over there. Ah, so now I'm waiting for the bus. I'm guessing I'll just head to my Airbnb instead because the sun sets at 5.19 but I don't want to go up and then waste my time and money on a night scenery that's nothing because I don't think they have lights around. One bad thing about here is the bus frequency. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. Oh, the bus is here. There's the bus timetable at the bus stops. Do take picture of them so that you know what time is the bus. They didn't really keep track of it at the start. I had to wait around one hour at the waterfall. It caused me to be delayed. But yeah, now I'm gonna explore the town of Ulun. So pretty. sightseeing for today, let's go find some food! Mm -hmm. 
jump on the noodles are not the normal noodles it's like soba noodles well that's the first That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe as I'll be putting more videos up on my trip in Korea. So see you in the next video. Bye.